Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. So, if you are an undergraduate student in your final year, you might be considering to do a master's degree. In this video, I will be sharing my personal experience and opinion and giving an honest review of uh, my overall experience because I have done a master's degree myself. Mine was in uh, applied economics and it was in the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow, Scotland in the UK. So before uh, I get into the details, I will be making a disclaimer that I might be a bit biased because I took my master's degree in a subject I didn't like, which was applied economics, and this became clear right from day one. There was too much maths and a lot of programming involved for my taste. For someone else, it could be different, and they like maths and programming, of course. Uh, so also, in general, it was much harder than a bachelor's degree. On the other hand, we had great staff like uh, teachers, lecturers, uh, tutors, a very supportive department, and we got a lot of support, especially since the beginning of COVID in March 2020, with online exams, with 24 hours um, to complete them, and open book, and a no detriment policy. So if your grades got worse in a specific subject since the outbreak of COVID, then uh, you got the grade you had previously, and you didn't get a worse grade. For example, we had 20 people in a group chat sharing exams ans exam answers, which was something we had like for once in a lifetime. Our deadlines also got extended and very much uh, a lenient department. Of course, not every department was so supportive, and I have heard from my friends uh, complaints about their own their other departments in marketing, for example. So there is not a one size fits all. And also, not every university is going to be the same, of course. I also made some great friends from every, every corner of the world, like the USA, Africa, Asia, Europe, and a lot from the UK. Now, uh, is it worth it? Well, it's worth it if you have ambitions to do a PhD in the same or a similar field, and this will most likely require you to have a master's degree of um, two, one, and above. However, take into consideration that to get funding for a PhD is not as easy as it was before. The last time I checked at my university's website, over 70% of PhDs were unfunded. Also, even if it is funded, the funding will stop after year three, and it might take you at least four years to complete it, if not more. So from the end of year three, you are on your own. It's also worth to get a master's degree if you want to get a specific job which requires a master's degree, or your bachelor was not satisfactory, like it was a 2-2, for example, if you're in the UK. Personally, I won a scholarship from my undergrad, and it covered half the amount, and the other half was covered by a SAS loan I took, so I got myself into debt. With Brexit coming up, back in 2019, when I pursued my master's degree, I thought it would be one of my last, if not the last years I could do it in Scotland without paying tuition fees. And apparently I was proven right, because now it's uh, not possible for EU students to get a, a loan from SAS, unless they have the indefinite leave to remain, which is the settled status, or the pre-settled status, which is the limited leave to remain. Now, for um, a part-time degree, it could also be a good option if you want to work simultaneously, part-time, of course. Don't go for more than that, because you might not have time to balance both. Now, if you are a student, you have some time in your hands, and you want to reduce your student debt, you might also want to start a side hustle. If that interests you, you can go to www.nicolasketos.co.uk, insert your name and email, and watch my free web class, where you will learn the three secrets my mentors use to generate a consistent income online, and how you can do it too, even if you have no previous experience, qualifications, or no product to sell. If you're a subscriber, I will catch you at the next video. Thank you for watching, and bye for now.